We are warning you of W-2 scams as more and more people will soon begin to file their taxes. Angie Barnett with the Better Business Bureau is joining us. Good to have you on Good the show. Good morning, Theo. Can you believe we're talking about taxes already? I can't believe mm -hmm. it. Good morning. All right, so let's start with the comptroller. Uh, he issued a letter to employers. Absolutely. What's this There's all about? There's a warning to employers. Actually, watch this unfold. When an employer gets an email or a phone call, and they're really trying to get not to the CEO, the business owner, but somebody under them, and uh, alleging that there is a reason for that individual to send the W-2 information of all their employees. Mm -hmm, to them. And, uh, exactly. So scam artists are trying to get their hands on Social Security information, general employment information, brought directly from the employer. So one of the warnings right now is to employers, please, you know, have something in place to prevent this from happening. You know, a double check system. Exactly. So somebody's checking in before they release that information. Yeah, these guys are, are tricky. So they're, they're right. getting the at the employers. They're also getting at the employees. What are some Absolutely. things that they're doing to all of us? Well, I'm going to start with number one, the data breach that we had with Equifax because it impacted so many people. We're saying, please file your taxes early because that data breach um, is, a, in essence, identity theft. So that's critically important. In addition, uh, we want to remember Maryland ranks number nine in the country for identity theft. So scam artists do have your information. It's out there on the wow. dark web. It's easy to, to pick up. It's scary to so, think about. Right. So what they do is they will go, scam artists, this is a good time to go and file taxes before you get mm. there. And so they're going to, uh, you know, make sure they're getting a return. Mm -hmm. And so when you go to file your taxes, you go, gosh, somebody's already done it. So uh, you really need to be very careful. And that's the biggest warning we have for people. And that was very pervasive. Another quick tip is make sure in the state of Maryland that uh, you are using a tax preparer who is registered with the state. And uh, we always say, be careful because you want somebody that is going to be there not just today when you're filing your taxes, but they'll be there months later if there was an issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we, you know, making sure you're smart about who you choose to do your tax prepare, uh, preparation. Very good. Very quickly here, if you feel that you have been uh, the victim of mm -hmm. this, what is maybe the first step you should take? The first thing you want to do is report it to the IRS. Uh, you want to send proof of document, um, your driver's license, passport, something like that, and say, this is who I am and I've been ripped off. So that's incredibly important. The sec you want to report it to not just the IRS, um, but the Maryland Attorney General, keep them informed, uh, and make sure that you are not silent about it, that you do something about it. All right, mm -hmm. Angie, thank you so much. Thank you, thank happy you. tax filing. Yeah. The 29th is when it opens. That's right, unfortunate we have to talk about this, yeah. but it's great information. <laughs> thank you. All right. And if you're looking for a place to prepare your taxes for free, you can check out McDaniel College's Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program. It is open to those who earn $54,000 or less annually. That information is right there on your screen. All tax preparation sessions are by appointment only and are offered on Fridays 1 to 3 p.m. and then on Sundays 10 a.m. to noon from February 2nd through April 6th.